Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface as Jin Thora Law looms ominously in the background awaiting, no doubt, my inevitable arrival. <laughs> it broke me a few times in Burning Crusade. You saw me talk about it in Memoirs of a Warlock, which is on my channel. Uh, will it break me? in the Iron Man Challenge. Well, we're going to find out soon enough. Now then, this is day three of the week's worth of Iron Man videos. We're really getting stuck into it. We're doing a, a big catch-up kind of thing. It's been a while since we had some vids. Uh, people have been crying out for them. Uh, and so you're getting a week's worth of Iron Man videos. And if they had a theme, if, if all the uh, videos that I'm bringing out for the Iron Man Challenge had a theme... Monday's theme would have definitely have been safety. You know, I uh, was leveling up in an area where I was uh, five or six levels above the mobs and the quests that I was picking up. And even if I got myself into difficulty, which I didn't do, but even if I did get myself into difficulty, it was pretty easy for me to get myself out of it. That wouldn't have been a problem. I probably could have maybe had two or three mobs on me at a time, and the likelihood is I would have got out unscathed. So if Monday's theme was safety, then yesterday's theme was definitely risky. Uh, because I suddenly moved from the safe environment of um, Arathi Highlands, and I moved myself here to the Hinterlands. So suddenly where mobs were five or six levels below me, now they're near enough my same level. There's maybe one or two levels difference at best. Uh, which was a little bit twitchy. And speaking of twitchy, uh, that's exactly what my butthole was uh, yesterday as I got myself in a little spot of bother with the, I think it was the Wild Hammer Clan or something like that. Um, when I uh, I got a nasty spawn, I was fighting a mob and then suddenly I just got a respawn of two of the Wild Hammer Clan um, right on top of me and they they pulled my pet and I, I, ugh, I panicked. Had a little bit of a panic search. Uh, tried to get away. Got myself blocked into a corner. Oh, it was happy days and all of that. <laughs> so if today had a theme, what would it be? Well, I think judging by the fact that Jinthor Law is looming in the background, I don't know if the theme for today's video uh, might be ominous. Because it's maybe what is to come and not necessarily what is within today's video. What I wanted to do today when I started the Iron Man Challenge uh, was to make sure I didn't make any of the silly mistakes that I did yesterday, you know? I, I wanted to be a bit more aware of my whole environment. And uh, to kind of give you an example of this, when I'm tackling this J-Doos, at some point you're going to see me just pan the camera out. Just have a look left, have a look right, as if I'm crossing the goddamn street. Uh, just making sure that I do have a full check um, of the environment that I'm fighting and where the mobs are. And the reason why I'm not looking behind me is because I am literally cutting a pathway through. So there shouldn't be anything behind me at all. I know that may sound a little bit risky, but it's not in effect. So here we go, here we go now. I'm now starting to just adjust the camera. What have we got? Where's what? Where's who? Where are they? You know, yada, yada, yada. So I just wanted to make sure that I was a little bit more self-aware of my whole environment. But there was one thing in today's vid which I wasn't going to have any control over environment-wise, or at least not too much environment-wise. So I had to have um, a kind of a plan. And that's another cave. Because uh, one of the mobs, the Diaglob, is in a cave. And the only cave that I've come across so far was the Yeti cave um, next to Taran Mill. And that had some awful memories. Because although, although the cave itself wasn't a problem, um, I think when I was level 30-ish? I think when I was level 30, I don't know, no, no, I think it's level 25 or something. Uh, something like that, anyway. About level 25 or so, I thought, oh, I'll go and tackle the Yeti. It's level 20 elite. I should be okay. And then, lo and behold, it nearly killed me. And that was nearly the Iron Man challenge. Now, I thought that was a cloth cap. And it wasn't. It was leather. But then I realized I did have a cloth cap <laughs> in my inventory. Holy shitballs, Batman. I think this is the first piece of equipment I have put on. In around about 15 levels. I swear to God. I haven't put anything on myself since around level 18. 
And yes, I got myself a hat. So that's 33 additional armour or something like that. Hey! I feel like a new man. <laughs> and it's just beautiful, shocking, hot... Ooh, hot pink. Today's season for the undead. Doing the Iron Man challenge is hot pink. Uh, yes. <laughs> a little bit of a fashion parade. I might look like a clown from the Burning Crusade that's just ding level 61. <laughs> 61, 62. Where suddenly you're leaving all these amazing pieces of armour behind and then starting out the life in Hellfire Peninsula like Bobo the freaking clown. Uh, they got that changed quickly in Wrath of the Lich King, didn't they? And they're on in. <laughs> well, they decided to make the sets have a theme. Uh, but I definitely look like a bit, as if I'm a Burning Crusade reject. Um, so when I went to the cave, I tried to have a, a best as plan as possible. And so I, what I wanted to do, because this is the, the die uh, glob at the bottom of the ramp, is just make sure absolutely every single solitary thing, uh, thing down the ramp was taken care of. Everything. So if something did go wrong, because the die glob's got six point something thousand health. So I was like, okay, this isn't going to be a quick fight. This isn't going to be a quick fight at all. So I've got to be aware of, of respawns. I've got to be aware of uh, potentially other mobs coming from the other cave. Um, or respawns from there. You know, all that kind of stuff. Um, while... Just keep an eye on my pet. Let's see what my pet's health like. Is the Diaglob crushing my pet? Things like that. So I've got a few considerations here. So I need to make sure that I've got an escape avenue, which is going to be straight up the ramp, out the door, run, 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 run. I've got no speed modifiers. I've got no nothing. I can't run the risk of getting dazed. That could almost be uh, critical. So we've got the Diaglob to around about 2,000 health, and then we get a green sludge. A green sludge comes in, and my void walk is down to about 40% health now. I'm not liking that, so I get a respawn. Yes, I get the uh, green sludge, but it's only going to be momentarily. And then I howl of terror it away. Just do a quick instant uh, howl of terror. Just get it out of the way. Uh, the uh, the dag glob is virtually dead now, so I'm not too bothered. Because even if it picks up the second mob, I can make a decision to fight or flee. So, you know, I think that's a reasonable decision. So I'm looking now thinking, right, it did grab the second one. I've picked up the sample. Let's have a look. A third one's come in now. Uh, no, let's go. And I was happy with that decision. I was happy to make that decision there. I was like, okay, let's just, you know, pet's now gone, but I've got some separation. I've got some distance away here. Um, whereas yesterday, goodness knows how I would have played that out. I was in some weird frame of mind yesterday. Uh, when I was doing it. So here I come. Outside of the door. It's not going to take too much longer. Boom. Out of combat. I can get the Void Walker back. I've got what I wanted. Pretty much. Anyway. I needed three more crates. So I just popped back into the cave. Uh, and jumped down to the bottom. And picked them up. So that was that was alright. So I, I was quite happy. How I handled a potentially. A potentially difficult situation. Um, the common sense part of my brain, I know it's freaking tiny, <laughs> but the common sense uh, portion of my brain won through, amen, and we ding level 34. Now the reason why I only decided to take on those quests today, hand them in, and this is coming up towards the end of the video, is because of where it's going to send me next, and I've got a decision to make here, I mean legit decision to make and uh, I decide to go for it because the next quest is the fall of Jinthor Alor. <sighs> oh ho, 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 ho. this place that I spoke so passionately about in memoirs of a warlock a couple of weeks back and here I am on the precipice of, of entering it in the Iron Man challenge where the mobs are there or thereabouts, my own level. And I was talking about that whole claustrophobia aspect of it, where the further you get in, the more mobs spawn behind you, you've still got the stuff in front of you, and you've still got the stuff that's going to respawn that you've already done. So there are some weird, exciting times ahead, but you're going to have to wait till tomorrow 
let's see what happens in Jin Thor Law. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and also twitch.tv forward slash heel versus babyface for live streaming. I shall be back with more stuff very soon. You take care everybody. Bye bye.